boom we are back a lot of stuff is going on we got smc's crashing down to the floor like i told y'all that could happen we got nvidia that i think will pull down more be prepared for that amd is starting to go down to the downside you also got to know that as well apple tried to go up but it's coming back down notice how it goes up and then it reverses that's something else you got to know we'll also go over bitcoin right bitcoin is starting to pull down as well what i'm seeing for bitcoin with their crypto stocks and the crypto market in general i'll probably go with bitcoin and other stocks and i have that i have like other cryptos at the end like those coins cardano solana and so forth at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that but let's get into these first make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe if you're new thank you guys for being here let's get this video over 150 likes within four hours okay so do it as fast as possible best levels in the game and let's get straight into it so so far stock is the first one Trigger symbol SOFI we got right here. Like I told y'all, it's not too much we could do right here. I'm just looking for more pull down. Okay, we got support around 670. I really don't want to get SOFI until it gets to six dollars. Pretty simple. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to just roll on through down here because every time it goes up, it just shows resistance. It never broke this area where I wanted to get in. Kept going down. Resistance here kept going down, and I think it just keep going down till we get around six dollars or so. So watch the support, but I do feel like we got way more downside to go on SoFi stock. So I'm kind of just waiting. Right now, it's a lot of waiting in the market because the market's starting to seem a little heavier, and you don't really make money with shares when the market is bearish, right? Just options and so forth, which we do play every morning. Make sure you join the team. But Palantir, we got support around twenty three twenty five. Remember, I told y'all I didn't really want to play it in this area. I do believe that support's going to break, and I think we'll see Palantir below like. $22 to $20 or so. So I think Palantir still got some more downward side to go. I think this might be a nice swing uh, to the upside right around like $34 this, but I'm kind of waiting for it to kind of settle out. So looking for that support to break at $23.5 and looking for it to go below at least like $22 then I might start getting a little interest in it. But just watch that support for now on a Palantir stock. AMC stock, very stall, not doing much. Trying to hold support around $4.20, but there's not really much I want to do in here with uh, AMC stock. I really only want to play it unless it breaks $5.20. Then I'll play it to $6. That's the only play I see. Remember, don't free trade, right? Have strategic entries, exits, be strategic. Don't just be trading stuff just because it's moving. The last time we played AMC, we actually played it off the earnings, right? We got a 37% gain off the earnings play, and that was pretty much it. Haven't played it since, and that's been weeks. GameStop is crashing down more. Like I told y'all, don't really want to buy GameStop unless it breaks 15.50. Did it break it? No. So looking for more pull down, that's exactly what it's doing. So let this baby drop. They also have earnings next week, okay? They got earnings next week, so... See what they do for earnings. I don't think I'm going to play GameStop no time soon. It's just nothing is in here for actual play. But watch $13 level as support, and then we'll kind of see what happens. But I think that support's going to break, and I think we'll have more downside to go unless earnings comes out with some banger or something. We'll see. SMCI broke support today. This is why the levels are critical, okay? I am looking to play SMCI. Remember I told y'all I don't really want it up here. Why buy it when it's literally at, like, all-time highs? Wait for pull down. What goes up must come down. Pull down, lower prices, pull down, lower prices, pull down, lower prices. Now we're getting that bigger pull down. And I think today it also got the induction in the SP 500 as well. A lot of people thought that was going to be bullish, right? A bullish catalyst. What happened? Actually bearish, right? Hopefully I weren't chasing that little minute push that it had. It gave all that up it's like crazy. But we're going to go over all new levels. Make sure you guys join the team. Make sure you guys join the team. We did do a Microsoft call option play today. It only took us like, what, 842 to 840. It took us like one to two minutes. We got a 20% gain off that. I'll show you how all the team won right here. Just caught this nice up moving with the team on Microsoft. You can see the team right here. So, 12, boom, 15, you saw how the all team won. It was very quick. That's what I do to bring consistent 14, profits. 13, you can even see the profits we got last week 89.7% sure gains. Right, yeah. All these are plays from uh, last week. Only $65 a month. Invest in yourself. Fast track the success. Get the right knowledge. You see my entries, exits for crypto, stocks, shares, options. All that good stuff. You have private live streams every morning. The market is open. First thing in the description, make sure you join before it closes because all this there right here is full. $14.99 one time fee if you want to do lifetime, which comes with after pay if you want to do after pay. Also comes with personal training. Okay, so you get this is like a full bundle right here if you just want to pay once forever. Elite year, six fifty for the year. Also, you could do after pay if you want to do monthly. And then if you want personal training by yourself, six nine nine one time fee, will not let seven com. Make sure you join there, okay? So SMCI broke support today, which was one sign that SMCI didn't want to go down. Look how it fell and look where it stopped at, right? This is where we got that sideways motion, right? That support and zoom, gave it back up. So if it's breaking support, what does that tell us? That tells us that I don't want to get in, right? None's financial advice, all education purposes only. That means I don't want to buy it if it's breaking support. So new support, 
which is honestly not that clear, but I'm gonna put it right around $900. The biggest thing right now, SNCI, is when do we build support? That is when the next push up is gonna come from when we hold support. So look at that pull down, it's down after hours, another 1.67%. So hopefully, you guys took your profit because this could be the start of a bigger down movement and might even go even around 600 to 500. That's the most. Now, it might not get there, but that's where I'm really looking to buy. Like below 700 ish is where I really want it to go. Will it get there? We don't know. But just watch the portion now, watch that $900 level. And also something to know if it's going to rocket again. If we come back up and break this resistance level at 1160, I think that's when I'm going to play it. Make sure you join the team to know for sure if I get in or if I don't. But I think that's when I'm going to actually buy it to break up all-time highs and start breaking up more. And maybe have like another 10% push above the all-time highs. We'll see. But that's if that 1160 breaks. So major levels to watch out for. And uh, we'll kind of see how SMCI starts to move. NVIDIA stock, very stalled in this range. There's not much you could do with NVIDIA stock right now. I'm watching support at 860. I do feel like that support's going to break. And I think we'll see NVIDIA stock around like 800 or so. I just think it's getting heavy on the upside and it's not it doesn't seem like it wants to go up anymore so just be prepared for some downward side movement in here right so as a lot of stocks are crashing this is the times that you look to buy when stuff is crashing right because you get it at cheaper stuff you don't want to be buying when it's already when it's already having that euphoria type of movement right we did play nvidia earnings right here and after that i don't think i played nvidia since maybe a scalp i can't remember but watch that 860 level i think that's going to break i think we'll see some more downside on uh, nvidia also amd stock I think we'll see some more downside on um, AMD stock as well. We got 187.50 of support. You see, I was trying to hold that right there. I think it is going to give that up. So just watch it. But it's not too much to do on the video stock right now. Then if we go to Microsoft, I think Microsoft has more downside to go. It did try to pop up to make more highs. They even had news today uh, for Microsoft and Google and so forth. But if you see this Microsoft movement, how it pushed up this morning, this is what we were doing in our private live streams. We were actually watching this. We caught it. We got calls here, and then we scaled out as it was going up because it was aiming for a target. Remember, don't free trade. Aim for stuff. And that's why you see this Microsoft call option right here, right? That's what I sent out. I called it in the morning live streams. You see it. I do it live. That's why I say make sure you join the team. It's only $65 a month. It's very low, 40% off right now. Make sure you join also follow me on Instagram with our knowledge. You'll see I post the student profits on my story. I need to start posting more too. But yeah, that was that Microsoft. We got a nice push. I think Microsoft has some more downside to go. Also like Apple. I think Apple needs to go down some more. I'm looking for Apple around 160. That's when I'm really looking to get Apple right here around that 160. So watch that 168.50 level of support. It did go up. Apple went up a little bit. But I think Apple's going to give all that back and actually come back down and break that support. That's why I say it's very careful right now trying to get shares, maybe to hold stuff for like swings and stuff. But as you start to see stocks doing this, starting to roll over, now we can get it at cheaper prices. OK, so make sure you kind of pick out like your top ones. And then also in like a month, we're going to get right back in to earning season so be prepared for that or this earning season is going to be a big one let's go to tesla stock so tesla stock has some upper movement today i was looking to play it but we actually played um microsoft instead so i didn't play tesla stock but i think tesla stock has a support right here right it's between two very critical levels if tesla breaks that 179.50 area on the upside i think that's actually going to push tesla up to around the 190s but if we break support at 162, which I think we will, I think that's going to bring Tesla back right now to around the 150s. OK, I think Tesla still has more downside to go. Um, I'm not really looking to buy long term shares. I'm looking I am looking to buy long term shares. I'm looking to buy leaps. Right. Because we do play leaps. They're different than just regular call options. We got leaps on uh, Disney, matter of fact. Right. And it's actually still pushing up. We're up like 150 percent on those. Leaps. If I show you right here, see, I sold a quarter of the leap options right there for 136 percent gains. These can pay a lot. But you just have to buy the right stock and you have to buy it around the right time, right? You don't have to have that perfect. But this is something I'm looking out for on. Um, so we already had the Disney. You see how Disney is popping up? We bought it at the right time. Earnings kept boosting it up. Earnings boosting it up because we bought it at the right stock. That's what I'm looking out for on Tesla. Remember the last earnings? I told you it was going to crash, right? So I wasn't looking for leaps yet. And also Tesla has been bearish for three years okay so i'm waiting for the right time to get those leaps but i think those will do well over 200 300 percent gains make sure you join the team first in the description to know when i do those but that's one thing i'm looking at and i'm looking for long-term shares but i don't really think that's gonna happen until we get earnings or until we get down to around 150 which is a uh, very low for tesla stock so we'll see just watch these two major levels on tesla stock 
let's go to the gold sector real quick any stock i'm forgetting or not adding make sure you comment it down below or any stock you guys want me to go over again make sure you let me know in the comment section too so it went up gold is a little stalled in here uh 1660 i want to see what happens at this support and if we start breaking above again on the upside of oil i mean gold then i might start looking at god for call options to break back up but we need gold for barack gold to kind of confirm a little bit more so see what happens at that support right around like 1660 if we start breaking down it'll be a no bueno but i think gold still has more upside to go um on it let's check oxy for the oil i told y'all we'll see a reversal on oil and there you go that's that reversal we're getting we're getting right now off oil no i'm not playing it but i'm just putting levels on here so you know you guys what i'm looking at and so forth right so oil's having a nice push up as i told y'all having a nice reversal i think we still got some more upside to go around 64 to 65 this is oxy it's really the only stock i look at for the oils but if you look at like chevron see how they're kind of pushing up slowly oxm pushing up as well that's the whole oil sector is kind of pushing up but you really only have to watch like one so just keep things simple okay just keep things simple so oxy is um still pushing up 64 around we can take the resistance level off resistance level hasn't broken but i think uh oil still got some more upside to go let's go to bitcoin and the crypto stock so bitcoin let's go down to the hourly chart right as y'all know i think tomorrow or so it's usually the optimal time that Bitcoin starts to drop, okay? At least a 20% drop before the halving, like 20 days before the halving or so. You'll probably see like a 20% drop. And so far, we are down about 8. 20% will take us below 60,000. And I do plan on, on accumulating, right? Because I think after the halving, Bitcoin is going to have a very nice run because Bitcoin is going to get more refined, right? It's going to be uh, less supply, which makes it a little more um, valuable. So I think we're going to have that push for Bitcoin to get around 90,000. I know a lot of people are looking at 100,000, which it could break through, but we might get selling pressure before that 100,000. So I'm looking to lock in some profits around 90. And then around 100, 110, and then around like 150 or so. But make sure you look into lock in profits. You're not just buying and holding and holding and holding because you want to make sure you lock in profits because it moves in cycles, right? Remember, last time it ran, take profit, it comes down, you buy again. Cycle, take profit, it comes down, you buy again. This is the next cycle. Just be prepared for that. But I think Bitcoin has some more downside to go. Um, we're watching support around 66,000. I think that's going to break. And we're also watching resistance at 69,300. Like I told you, also play cryptos with the team. Okay. As you can see, we did some two new crypto plays down here. Make sure you join the team to see those. And then we uh, sold the rest of our Solana, 65% gain on Solana, 40% gain on Ethereum shares. We still got more. And I'm looking to do new shares on Solana, new shares on Ethereum, and a lot of new uh, plays on crypto. But you get both. My crypto plays and stock plays when you join the team, first in the description. Like I said, it's only $65 a month. Make sure you join before I close it up because, like I said, I want to make sure y'all get the right knowledge. I can answer all y'all questions. And until I get more help, I'm going to have to close it soon. I'm thinking maybe in a week, okay? Just kind of give you a heads up. But BTC, these are two major levels. If we break resistance, I'll probably start getting in Coinbase shares. But if we never break resistance and we come back down and break the support, I'll probably wait because my top two crypto stocks I'm looking at, right? So we have Riot, support 1075, watch that. I'm not looking to buy Riot right now. We have Mara, support 1740, watch that. Notice how all these supports are hitting perfect, by the way. Make sure you smash that like button and get it over 150 likes within like three, four hours. If you don't see it over 150 likes, just smash the like button. That's all I ask. Just hit that like button. I know I give you guys the best levels. Mara, watch that, 1740, support. Hut, I'm not looking to play Hut until it breaks $12. But my top one I'm looking out for are Coinbase, okay? It hit my support perfect at 224. Look at that beautiful support hit. Okay. I'm not ready to buy Coinbase just yet. Not yet. We already played it. We already got a 40% gain on Coinbase shares when you join the team. But um, I'm looking for a whole new play. It did have some pull down too. Okay. But I'm kind of waiting. I think we have a little more pull down to go on Coinbase shares after it breaks that support. I'm thinking around like 200. We might be able to get Coinbase again, but we just got to wait. But that's one. RKB. It's something I'm watching out for as well. I'm looking for a new one. Remember, this is the Bitcoin ETF, the 21 shares of ARK. Um, it's going to mimic Bitcoin as well. But if I believe Bitcoin is going to fall, that means I believe RKB is going to fall as well. Looking for a play on this one. And I'm looking at Hood. Okay. Hood is already at one of my targets. So it's probably Coinbase and RKB are the top two. And then Hood would be like the top three. And the other threes would be like in the back, like the miners and stuff. So 
yeah, we have a support 1650 on hood. That's what I'm kind of watching out for. But like I said, it really depends on how Bitcoin is going to move out here. We are expecting some pull down. Whether we get it or not, we'll know once those support areas breaks and so forth, right? End phase is dropping. Like I told you all, this is more of an interest rate type of play than I'm looking out for. And I don't, I don't think it's going to start pushing until interest rates start coming down, which is around the third quarter of the year. So um, for now, new support, I probably put around $98. Just watch that. It's not too much we could do with end phase right now because I only want to get in when I feel like it's actually going to start pushing. Again, that is financial advice, all education purposes only, don't trade that you see or hear in this video. But that's what I'm kind of looking out for end phase. Also, like Carvana and Ford, all these car st uh, stocks. That's what I'm looking for for interest rates because they're going to probably have some nice push up, lower interest rates, more people get cars, their revenues and stuff will get up just like all that, right? And also, the solars as well, the solar companies, they're probably going to push up as well. PayPal. Making some nice push. I need to break $66. That's when I'm probably going to make a new play on it. So kind of just waiting for that to kind of push up to the higher side. We will see. The SP 500. Remember what I gave you all. A support level at 508.50. Did we ever break that? No. It tested that on Friday. Look. Look at that beautiful support hit on Friday. Hit it. Shoot. Shoot. So it came that support and it went up. Right? It has to break the support to solidify we are bearish. We are not bearish just yet. That has to break that support level of 508.50. Like I said, I feel like the market's going to turn over. A lot of stocks are going to be pulling down. A lot of um, a lot of stocks going to be pulling down, but that's the time to get stuff cheaper. Okay, let's also go to Netflix real quick. So Netflix hit a lot of targets. I think it could still reach up um, to about like 6:30 or so. It had a push, but then it gave it all up. It had a big push. Net Netflix will move very fast. It's a uh, one of the scalps I'm looking out for tomorrow, if I get in it or not, you join the team, you can see that. But so far, it's a little interesting with me on Netflix. It is very high, but I'm probably just looking for like a scalp on it or so forth. at and I'm looking for at and to break 750. It had a nice big push today, but I'm looking to trade at and from like 18 to like 23-ish. It usually swings around those areas. They also do like dividends. So say I hold it for that, I'll probably accumulate maybe like one to two dividends. Uh, I'm not really a dividend trader, but... You get those dividends as you kind of hold like a dividend type of stock. So that's a benefit of AT&T. So even if we hold it, it's not really moving like we already are. We're still getting some dividends out of it. Like we just got a dividend payment in January, right? And it's about uh, 27 cents per dividend. So that was pretty good. But yeah, I'm still looking for a swing on AT&T. Kind of just waiting. Kind of for cruise lines and the cruise line sector are very slow right now. They have earnings next week. So that's what I'm kind of waiting out for. For one, that's what I'm waiting out for, for Carnival Cruise Lines earnings. And I'm also waiting for the, well, yeah, Carnival Cruise Lines and Region Cruise Lines. I think the Region Cruise Lines, did they have earnings? Let's actually check real quick. Yeah, they already had earnings. The earnings, they actually missed on a lot of stuff. The revenue actually beat, and I think their guidance is what had them kind of push up a lot. But we'll kind of see what Carnival Cruise Lines does. That's next week. Also, Nike has earnings this week. I think I might play Nike earnings. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Nike is going to be doing good. Uh, I think Nike could also be a long term play. So I'm hoping it does crash off of earnings. I hope, I'm hoping Nike gets around like 80 ish. That would be amazing for like long term shares, elite call option and so forth. So I'm hoping they crash off earnings. We will see the last earnings they had. They had a huge crash. They went from like 121 all the way down to 108. Right. So as long as I think I'm going to play the earnings as well, as long as, as long as we're on the right side. We should get a nice big chunk of profit off the earnings. And then all that profit that we make off the earnings, I'll probably put it to long-term shares. So watch that Nike movement. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, so snow reversal is still crashing, right? We have a support around 146. I'm just waiting for that. I'm just waiting for reversal. I think a reversal could happen. We just have to wait for it to build support. So very simple. DWAC broke support today. That's why I say you got to wait. I'm not looking to play it until it gets above 53.25. Why do I say that? Because it has to break key resistance to solidify that it wants to go up. It never did that. So I'm not looking to buy it. And I saved myself from taking a loss. All it did for weeks was just trend down. You got to be careful of trying to play stuff like that. New support. I'm going to put it like around 33, 35. I don't think it's a strong support, but we'll see how it acts. I'm just thinking this one's just going to pull down some more. 3335, watch that one. PANW, um, very slow right here. We got support, we got resistance. Not too much you could do in this area. I'm still watching the same levels. And also, I know like the cannabis stocks have been moving. We got Sundell, TL, um, RY, we got uh, ACB for Aurora. 
all these are pushing, but there's not really a play. So just be careful of that. Yes, they're moving. Yes, they're kind of pushing up. They also got earnings coming on them soon, but it's not a play yet. It's just price movement, right? So don't free trade in here. But I saw a lot of comments on that one. You just can't free trade on them right now because it's just not optimal. Pfizer, I am looking for a play on Pfizer as a reversal, but I'm trying to see if it can build support. We've got a support level around $25, and I'm just trying to see what it does in this area. It's been in the same range for like months, and I think once it kind of breaks out this range, we'll have a nice push so I can get a decent swing on it. We'll see. Also, like Moderna, I think Moderna is going to have a nice swing, but it's kind of mimicking Pfizer. Kind of installed for months, and I think once it has that nice push, it's going to have a nice reversal um, to that higher side. Now, it doesn't have to have a big reversal. It could be a reversal like this. And this reversal from the bottom to the high was over 88%, right? So it doesn't have to be a huge reversal, but it can be a nice reversal for some nice gains. And it just has to build support where I believe like it'll start pushing up to higher prices. So that's what I'm looking out for Moderna as well. Then like I told y'all, I'll go over Dogecoin. I know the video is kind of long, but I put a lot of uh, information on these. So Dogecoin, I'm watching support at 1440, 400 right here. Seems like that's breaking. So that might change. I'll probably update y'all on that tomorrow. I'm really not looking to play Dogecoin unless it breaks 18 cents, be frankly honest. That's a major resistance level. Once it breaks that, then I feel like it's actually going to push above 20 and so forth. So I'm kind of just waiting on Dogecoin. Uh, let's go to Solana. Like I told y'all, we already sold Solana, 65% gain. I'm happy with it. I am looking to play it again, but we need a pull down. Now, what type of pull down am I kind of looking out for? At least a 10% drop from a high. Okay, so like this high, it dropped, it hit what, 10% and then it recovered nicely. That's what I'm kind of looking out for. This high hit a what? 10% drop and then it recovered nicely. So I'm looking for a 10% drop out of here. That's what I'm looking to get in a Solana again because I think it's going to recover nicely off of that. That's the main thing I'm doing. So what I'm doing is looking, looking for negative 10% drop. Very simple, very easy, straight to the point. Like I said, this is what you get when you join the team. We did 65% gain on Solana. So I feel like I'm not even missing out on just because it's pushing up more. Don't free trade. We'll get it again. Uh, so that's Solana. Um, I'll go over Ethereum. Went over Dogecoin. So Ethereum, I think, is going to pull down more. It's starting to break that support at 35.20. I'm hoping Ethereum gets down below 3,000. That's a big hope. But we'll see. But the low threes are still cool. Ethereum still hasn't broke its all-time high. So I am accumulating more Ethereum. We bought some more. Like I told y'all, we did some new plays, but um, if we can get more like around 33, back to the all-time high is like 44% gains off the rip. So Ethereum has a lot of upside to go. We'll see. But 35.20 support, 37.30 as a resistance. Still looking to accumulate more as I think this is a phenomenal time as it's pulling down to accumulate more. But thank you guys for watching the video. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you join the team. Only $65 a month. First in the description. You can do the year, lifetime memberships, or you can ask questions. Willknowledge77.gmail.com right here if you want to bundle or anything. And then follow me on Instagram, but on knowledge, I post all the students' profit there. And always remember, no circumvention of buyer. So anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.